Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy and guys, today is a very special day for me because it's gonna be the first time I ever record a video on my second account on top, on top ladder and we actually in the first game on my second account right here. I'm gonna be playing my main account and my second account for this video and yeah, I, I actually just managed to max out a deck on my main account two days ago. I created this account about seven months ago and yeah, ever since then I have been trying to max it out max out a deck grinding grand challenges and to finally like get my last cards from level 14 to 15 i had to buy like the 50,000 elite wild cards for like eight euros three times in the shop so i had to spend like 24 euros to finally max out my deck and i bought like a few battle passes also so yeah i didn't like have to spend like a lot of money to finally max out one deck to be honest like obviously that's not cheap at all but a maxed out account costs thousands of like euros basically and i basically got like a max deck for pretty cheap with just grinding grand challenges for seven months and then just spending a little bit of money on a lead wild cards and yeah i'm actually very happy i finally have two accounts on top ladder and actually about six months ago i created my third account also which i have been grinding also so i'm actually gonna be having like three accounts on top ladder quite soon it's probably gonna take me like two more months until i can finally max a deck on my third account so yeah in two months you're gonna see me with like three accounts on top ladder but it's gonna be quite a nice change already for now because yeah i used to only have one account for top ladder and having it like two accounts for top ladder now is a huge difference and yeah, on this account I actually only have the Princess Tower maxed and I'm playing this deck with the Dagger Duchess Tower normally. So yeah, on my main account I'm playing this deck with the Dagger Duchess Tower and on this account I'm playing this with the Princess Tower. So it's actually quite interesting. This deck actually works out perfectly with the Princess Tower and with the Dagger Duchess Tower. So I'm playing the exact same deck on two accounts with a different tower troop. So yeah, two, top 20 in the world two times with the same deck and a different tower troop though. So very nice evil Valkyrie value right there. His evil wizard is kind of wasted. I mean, it cleans up my like counter push, but at the same time, he doesn't really get any offensive value going. As you saw, he got like no royal giant hits and I actually get the wall breaker connection right there. Also, I predict his fisherman perfectly right there with the Valk. So he still has to waste something onto my princess. And that also means he's not going to be able to break through his uh, with his royal giant right here, really. So I'm just going to block one wizard shot and then the like... um. The Dart Goblin is taking good care of that, so I'm actually chilling right here. I don't see how he's gonna be defending my Evo Barrel, to be honest, so... Okay, yeah, looks like he actually can't really defend it. Like, he has to overcommit so much, but he still takes a lot, a lot of damage, so I'll just keep up the pressure with my Barrel. Just gonna ignore the Ghost on the left side, to be honest, because I haven't really taken any damage on the left, and I actually take the Tower with the Barrel on the left side, so GG's for the first game right here, and I'll see you in the second game on my main account. We in the next game right here on my main account and yeah the reason why I switched to my main account already is because both of my accounts are basically at the same amount of trophy range and with that last win on my second account I actually passed my main account and I always want to be playing the lower account because that always means my high account is never gonna tilt right because for example, once I reach 3000 trophies on one account, I'm only gonna be playing the account that's below 3000 trophies and I'll only play the account that's above 3000 trophies once the, once the other account reaches 3000 trophies also. So that means I could only possibly tilt on one account and I'm only gonna be playing the other account that's high on ladder again once I reach it, like once I reach or pass that account again with my other account. So yeah, that's the explanation right here for that. So if I win against Tar, I'm definitely gonna be, um, yeah, searching again on my other account. And yeah, we're facing Tar right here. Tar is actually one of the best players in the world currently. He's one of the only people who have qualified for this year's Clash Royale League World Final. And also he's one of the only, or he's like one of the only player who have players who have qualified for last year's Clash Royale League Clash Royale League World Final also. I mean, there was like a total of 16 players in Clash Royale League World Final last year. And in total, I think six players have qualified for this year's um, World Final. And there will only be like a total of um, eight, eight players this year instead of 16. So it's actually way more impressive to qualify for 
this year's Clash Royale League World Final than qualifying for last year because yeah it's only the half amount of people this year than last year so it's like double as hard to qualify and there's always these people for like Mohammed Light which obviously are gonna qualify right so that also makes like the spots from eight spots go drop to like five or six because there's like a few people that are just like guaranteed to qualify every year every year just because of their skill level skill level like no one is basically um guaranteed to qualify right but you could already tell before the start of this year that mohammed light would qualify to the clash royale league world final and he actually did by winning the first glo um golden ticket so yeah that's quite a few people few people were actually you can like say okay they are probably gonna qualify and yeah that also lowers your chances of qualifying so yeah ta actually very much deserved world final spot and i'll see you guys in the next game we in the next game right here and no way guys we're actually facing ta again and i think he's like he he feels like i sniped him which i actually didn't like i swear guys i didn't snipe him i actually waited until i like search my next game because it's quite obvious like i will be facing the same people again if i just switch my account and don't wait right but i actually waited about like um two minutes or like three minutes until i search the game again so he would like already be in game so i'm like gonna face a different person right because i don't want to like snipe ta and i actually still face him though like the the game i faced him he was a, about at like um 2720 that means like he already lost another game since we've played so yeah it's very unfortunate for him that we're facing again i feel like because yeah he feels like i sniped him which i didn't and i feel like this is not even like a very bad matchup for him even though he was saying good luck at the end of last game like i don't see this being a good matchup for me because he has the log tornado ice spirit combination which is very broken against me but to be honest i have very good drill defense so it can be hard for him to break through but at the same time if he just plays good defense i feel like he can just start getting like good situations going from double elixir he's never really gonna be breaking through from like at single elixir because he needs to get like magic archers going um at the bridge after he goes for his drills and i'm actually gonna activate the king tower right here hopefully okay perfect i activate the king tower of the magic archer that's always important knowing the perfect placement against the magic archer to activate the king tower but it only works if the magic archer is on the inside if the if it's on the outside you can't activate the um, king tower of the magic archer so yeah it's very okay no i finger slipped my valkyrie man that's very unfortunate i didn't even want to play it at all i was just trying to bra like drag it back into my hand but i like accidentally dropped it at the back so that's very bad because obviously i don't want to waste my evo valk and now he can just go very aggressive at the right but i feel like his nado was kind of messed up because now he doesn't have a lot of elixir and look at my valkyrie getting hit on the left also the princess is going in i kind of messed up the perfect um fire spirit timing and what is that i'm kind of lagging did you see that i put my wall breakers down but they took so much time to come down man it's very unfortunate like having drop delay sometimes i feel like it's not even my internet connection at times it's like just the clash royale servers lagging because i see a lot of other people like complaining about it also and he pops the ability but it doesn't come down in time so the monk doesn't reflect my goblin barrel and he actually messed up the tornado no way so we get the wall breaker connection and he doesn't put, like get the king tower activated like activation which is perfect for me i can just go for my valkyrie onto the monk and magic archer right here and it's kind of crazy i'm already back to another evo valk right because i already just like played it and i'm already back to it so that's kind of crazy i feel like okay i, I missed the drill he's playing it on the right side and on my king tower anyway so i guess it doesn't matter gg's right here he's just laughing i think he's he thinks he's i sniped him which i actually didn't like i actually waited until I play again so i'm very sorry if he feels like i sniped him but i actually didn't and that actually will put me at top 9 in the world and top 11 in the world so ggs and i'll see you guys in the next game we in the next game right here against fufu from my main account again and i think i explained quite well why i'm switching my accounts and when i'm doing it so yeah 
I haven't lost a single game yet. I have played three games and I've won every single one of them. So I had to switch the accounts after every game. Once I lose a game, I'm obviously going to have to play the same ag account again. So yeah, let's hope we don't lose a, like don't lose a single game and I can switch my accounts back and forth. So um, yeah, this guy is also like quite much lower than me. So that means like if I win this game, He's going to be so low that I'm not going to be able to face him on my other account again. So like because he's going to be over 150 trophies below me and that's going to be outside of the possible range where I like could possibly face him. So I don't have to wait any time if I win this game to search a new game, which is going to be quite nice because I don't want to snipe people, but I just want to have like the best pos possible push um on my account going which is gonna be the like method i'm doing <laughs> which i explained to you so yeah but i don't want to be like toxic and snipe people so i always wait after winning a game until i search again so i don't actually snipe the person and okay he goes for the gant bandit which is very good for me because now i can just pressure him with my evil barrel and he goes for the evil wizard on the right which is smart because yeah my normal barrel is on the right uh, on the left i mean um, he goes for the evil wizard and my normal barrel is on the left so yeah he predicted my normal barrel placement perfectly if i would have went for my like normal barrel on the right and the fake barrel on the left i would have gotten so much damage on the right it almost would have been tower basically so i'm just gonna go for my valkyrie right here and that's gonna be quite annoying for him he goes for the pekka i'm just gonna go for my wall breakers honestly because like they're gonna still connect because the valkyrie is tanking right so Okay, and also the Warbreaker connects onto his P.E.K.K.A. And I don't know what he's doing. He's just ignoring everything. He's going to try to get like a good push going. But the thing is, even if he takes my tower now, I feel like he's going to lose. And I don't think he's going to be able to take my tower. I have the Evil Valk. I'll go for the Goblins. Okay, that's going to be bad Goblins, to be honest. Because like the Battle Ram charge actually kills the Goblins. If you didn't know, like the Battle Ram charge does damage, which kills like Goblins spear goblins and like skeletons and all that but i feel like he's still lost right he's gonna be losing both towers right here and there's only 20 seconds left i can just distract like the pekka without killing it for the last like 20 seconds now it's only like almost 10 seconds and there's no way he gets to my tower in time like i can just let the battle ram get go through because my king tower is at 6000 hp so i don't don't have to worry about that at all and yeah, that's gonna be ggs right here and i'll see you guys in the next game on um, i'll actually check out what placement that puts me in before i go into the next game so let's see what um placements we have on top ladder now okay actually top eight in the world which is actually gonna be quite nice so yeah i'll see you guys in the next game all right guys i actually just got to top six in the world on this account and um yeah my other account dropped from top 8 to top 10 just because of the time which like other people passed and obviously my other account make getting top 6 made my other account drop one space also from top 8 to top 9 and one other person got into the top 10 so yeah that's how i got to top 6 and top 10 in the world but unfortunately i'll have to go over the replay right here because yeah my recording space was almost full and i got the like um mentioned that my recording um space is completely full just like when i was in game um, recording my last games and unfortunately when my recording space is almost full i can still record and yeah first when my recording space is actually full i get the notification that it's full and then i i check like my recordings and always like the last games before my recording is actually full which were like the game the games right here right um like my recording always gets super laggy and my gameplay while i'm in game and recording is su like super normal and everything is good but once you check the recording somehow the recording gets super laggy i don't know what it is somehow when my recording space is almost full and i record the recording just gets super laggy which is just super unfortunate right because i never know when my recording space is almost full so i just record and then i randomly get the notification and my recording stops working because like when i when i'm in the game and at the moment like i'm in the game recording my um recording gets like 
full, my recording space gets gets full, the recording just stops in the game. And that's just the moment I notice, okay, my recording space is full. So after the game, I will be going over my gallery and I will check like, okay, what games um, like actually don't have lag and what games like do have lag. And uh, uh, like mostly the games at the end, which like are almost before my recording space is full always completely lag and are like unusable um for the video which is super sad so yeah i have to go over the replay right here which is unfortunate because i completely cooked him in this matchup right here like he didn't even stand a chance at all so this was quite a nice like last match to finish off my push and yeah that got me to top one in the at uh, top one in germany and top two in germany top six in the world top 10 in the world and i'll just be showing you guys the the screenshots after um yeah this is over right here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys for my next video tomorrow bye